Well, the U.S. military is sending more Marines to beef up security at the embassy in Haiti. Americans are trapped in the increasingly chaotic country. And NBC's Gabe Gutierrez is at Haiti's border with those details. This morning, as even more gang-fueled violence erupts in Haiti, a new team of U.S. Marines is on the ground in Port-au-Prince, securing the American embassy, the capital gripped by gunfire and chaos. It's been three days since Haiti's prime minister announced he would step down after relentless pressure from gangs who wanted him gone. Now efforts to stabilize the country may be stalling. Any delay could put the aid of a multinational police force led by Kenya and largely funded by the U.S. in jeopardy. With gangs controlling most of the capital, many civilians are now trapped. Haitian-American Cherie Bellhumer says she's hoping to escape Haiti and see her family in Miami, but there's no way to get there. They saying if we was to come back home and get our things, that day is going to kill us. Best-selling author Mitch Album now safe in Michigan after a stealth private helicopter mission in the middle of the night rescued him and staffers from an orphanage his charity runs. How harrowing was that escape? You know, the fear is that the gangs are going to shoot at the helicopters and the door closed and within 60 seconds we were up in the air in the dark and flying uh, and trying to get out, out of Haiti. The U.N. says a million Haitians are now on the brink of famine. Hospitals are struggling too, desperate for generator fuel. We spoke with a doctor who says armed men executed a patient inside an ambulance. We are also seeing, uh, you know, patients who suffer from gunshot wounds the previous day who are only able to make it to our, our facility 12 hours later uh, when they feel safe. Missionary Jill Dolan and her family are trapped at a makeshift motel near the airport. She's frantically trying to get back to Florida in time for her daughter's wedding. But with the airport still shut down, she's instead ducking for cover. We did hear gunfire like right outside at this gate and it was very scary. And we hid in our room until it went away. 